of the beep. beep. Well, out front to an early lead and an early battle as Lee Ravel and Bill Jordan. Lee is, oh no, Lee is upside down, down to the three now as Chapman, our charity case, moves up to the number four spot down the straightaway. So we got three, uh, four truck breakaway out front actually with Daniel tumbling down. Wait, 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 go. Okay. Daniel now in that number five spot. The breakaway is turning into a three-car breakaway. Now it's only a two-car breakaway as Bill Jordan's getting checked out. Ray and Lee drafting off each other, trying to catch back up to Jordan. It looks like they're making up time down the straightaway. Bill Jordan over the uh, double, over the tabletop, through the center section. Ray and Lee beating each other up back there. This is a repeat of eight scale last night when I was leading that race, and Oscar and Walnuts were beating the piss out of each other, allowing me to spend my fair amount of time out front, and unfortunately, my little uh, 10 scale, 8 scale car didn't have the motor to hold off Walnuts all the way down to the last lap. Two, or uh, one thirty down, 3.30 left to go here for Bill Jordan with a one and a half second lead over Lee. Lee with a half a second lead over Ray. Chapman in the four spot. Daniel coming for him though in the five spot. Daniel making up all kinds of ground, actually losing ground that time by, but looks like he made up ground on the track. Down the straightaway goes the associate Aaron Chapman and the Kyocho of Daniel Black. And then we got Borak in the number six spot in the all black. Joe R. bump up in the number seven spot and the Hitman in the number eight spot there. And then Chapman getting it wrong. Daniel going to make the pass there. Chapman stuck on the inside of the pipe. So Daniel Black now into the number four spot. I think it's going to be a little too late for him to try and catch up to the leaders on his own accord, but anything can happen there. They could blow out. They could lose a wheel. They could break an A-arm. They could get struck by lightning on the driver's stand. The roof could collapse. The driver's stand could fall out from underneath them due to a science experiment maybe from Bob Johnson. Who knows? And actually, I think Ray and Matt would be in the worst spot for that one as they are directly above Bob Johnson's hobbit hole. 2.30 down, 2.30 left to go. We are halfway done. It's still Bill Jordan, but it's only half a second now ahead of Lee Gravel. Lee and Bill battling it out. Lee to the inside, heads down the straightaway. Bill takes the burn. They're about the same speed. But if you take that inside, you are able to cut block him. And, oh, man, Lee hammering him. He's going to wait. There we go. And it looks like Chapman there is going to lap down to the field and parking it, and he's just going to wait now. So Lee is back out front. And he did wait there after that uh, pretty vicious sending it. He did. Uh, what's up? All right, where were I? Oh my goodness! Daniel and Lee, now, uh, Daniel and Ray together on the track, and Daniel looks to the inside and grabs the pass on Ray, and then they get into it with each other, and Ray's going to come out well on top of that one. As Daniel drops back to the number four. He had the number three spot for a second there. At the top of the straightaway. Now down in the bowl is our leaders, Ray, or uh, Lee, out front. Bill in the two. Bill held on to that lead for about three minutes of this race. Then Lee snatched it out of his hands. Bill Jordan now looking to make the comeback trail down the straightaway. They're both, I believe, running stock. I see Ray Dog and Daniel battling it out, separated by a second. 4-3 and 4, Borak in the 5, Chapman down to the 6, Rod Grudzin in the number 7 spot, and the Hitman in the number 8. we got less than a minute to go. Lee now getting checked out a little bit here from Bill Jordan, but Bill still putting in a solid run in the number 2 spot. Ray by the line, Daniel by the line, 2 tenths of a second. That's going to be our battle here with 35 seconds left to go, but Daniel gets into it with some lap traffic, and I think that's going to be all she wrote for Daniel. And then Bill Jordan also with a bottle, so that's going to do it for Bill, I think, for his chance at the lead here. Bill's going to have to keep it on all fours, as here comes Ray falling. 20 seconds left to go. This will be their last lap. Bill by the line, Ray by the line, half a second between them. It's the two blue and silver trucks into the berm, coming onto the street. Can Jordan hold off Ray? Can Ray catch up to Jordan? 10 seconds left to go. This will be their last one as Lee makes it by for one more victory lap. Chapman by the line is done.
Or not, actually, but it doesn't matter. Bill Jordan going to tumble by the line to take the number two. Ray going to finish in the number three. Daniel going to take that number four spot. Borak right behind him, though, going to finish in the number five. Lee with the win, going 14 and a 17. Bump up, that is Joe, done in the seven, and Chapman going to finish in the number 